In this video, a 55-year-old right-handed man is brought to the emergency department after the police find him unresponsive on the street. In triage, he appears disheveled and homeless, with a strong odor of alcohol coming from his mouth. The patient is started out on intravenous fluids with dextrose and admitted to the hospital for alcohol intoxication. So he was treated with fluid plus dextrose for alcohol intoxication. Over the next several days, he slowly recovers. However, neurologic exam shows substantial difficulty with short-term memory, so short-term memory difficulty, nystagmus, ophthalmoplegia, and ataxia. Which of the following identifiers from the brain image indicates the neural structure most likely to be damaged in this patient? So this is not a surprise that this patient is having Wernicke encephalopathy because this patient has nystagmus, ophthalmoplegia, ataxia, and short-term memory loss, which is usually due to the damage of mammillary body. Mammillary body is responsible for the short-term memory loss. So damage to the mammillary body is going to give us Wernicke encephalopathy. And all these symptoms, short-term memory loss, nystagmus, ophthalmoplegia, and ataxia, all these are going to be seen in Wernicke encephalopathy. Now, why does this patient has these symptoms? See, he is a chronic alcoholic. Seems like he's homeless and he has been drinking for a while. So when he was treated with fluid and dextrose, he was not given thymine. As a result, his Wernicke encephalopathy was exacerbated with the use of glucose in his system. With no thiamine, he is showing signs of Wernicke encephalopathy. Now, what's the difference between Wernicke encephalopathy and Korsakoff encephalopathy? With Korsakoff encephalopathy, you're going, to, you're going to see retrograde amnesia. With Wernicke encephalopathy, you're going to see anterograde amnesia. With Korsakoff encephalopathy, you're going to see retrograde amnesia. You're going to see confabulation. You're going to see ep, ep, you're going to see apathy, and you're going to see lack of uh, lack of uh, insight. Anyways, so this patient, our diagnosis is that this patient has Wernicke encephalopathy. Now the question is saying, which of the following identifiers from the brain image indicates a neural structure most likely to be damaged in this patient? That's mammillary body. Our job is to identify which of the following is a mammillary body. Okay, let's start from A. A seems like fornix. A looks like fornix. That is definitely not mammillary body. What about B? What is this round structure right here? What is, what is this structure? Structure B. Structure B is what our mammillary body is. So that is our answer. B is our answer, mammillary body. Now what about C? You know, let's go through all the structures just so that we know what they are. Structure C is obviously the pons. D would be thalamus. E would be inferior colliculus and F would be our corpus callosum.